So first, we're gonna head over to search and type in task manager, click on it. Once we're on it, we're gonna close Zoom. So scroll down, look for Zoom. If you can't find it, just click on memory, which will sort with the applications that's using the highest memory and then Zoom should appear. For me, I've got Zoom and I've got Zoom meetings. If you see Zoom meetings, just close out Zoom meetings first because that will also close out Zoom. But if you close out Zoom for some reason, then it won't actually close. But you could try to close out Zoom if you don't have Zoom meetings. But the way to close it is by clicking on it and then click on end task. And then this will force close Zoom. Before we move on to the second step, make sure that you have a lot of CPU usage and memory usage left on your computer so that Zoom can actually use it and it won't crash again. If you want to clear up the unnecessary applications that are using your CPU and memory, you could just click on either CPU or memory and then the applications that are using most of it are gonna appear and then you could just end task on all of the useless applications and this will free up your memory and your CPU usage. Now we're going to clear all of the Zoom cache and temporary files on our computer. Right click on the Windows Start icon, then head over to Run, then type in Clean MGR, click on Enter. We're gonna do this for all of our drives. So first we're gonna select our Windows drive, which is probably the C drive and then click on OK. And then make sure that everything here is selected and then click on Clean Up System Files. And then click on OK again on the same drive. And then wait for this to load. Once this opened up, make sure that everything here is selected again and then click on OK. And then click on Delete Files. You can repeat this method for all of your other drives. For the third method, right click on the Windows Start icon then head over to Settings. Once you're on it, click on Privacy and Security. And then you want to scroll down to App Permissions. First, we're going to start with the camera. Make sure that camera access is on. And then it might come up with Zoom over here. Make sure that it's on as well. For me, it's down here because I lost you Zoom a while ago, but for you, it might be up here and just click on on. And then we're going to go back and do the exact same thing, but this time for the microphone. Make sure that it's on and then you might have Zoom again here. Just click on on. After you do this, restart your computer, but if it's still not working, head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and then you can click on the three dots and uninstall Zoom and then install it again from the website. 